Without our regular face-to-face -face lessons, some of us have had a few tuning mishaps while at home. This video will hopefully make tuning our instrument much easier and much less scary. Today I'm going to cover how we know when we have got our instruments in tune, I'm going to talk about the adjusters, or the fine tuners, and finally for the more advanced players, the pegs. On your violin you should have four of these little screws. These are the adjusters or the fine tuners. I only have one, but to make the sound go lower, we're going to loosen our string by turning to the left or anti-clockwise. To make the sound of our string go higher, we're going to tighten the string to the right or clockwise. Here's an app that I got for free. You just bow or pluck each of your strings into the microphone of your phone, tablet or any other device. You can see that the needle is pointing to the left, meaning your string is too low. So turn your adjuster to the right. Now the needle has moved to the right, so I'll turn the adjuster slightly to the left. Keep making small adjustments until the needle makes it into the middle. Next, we're going to talk about the pegs. Now only use the pegs if your teacher has said so, because they're very difficult to use and even one whole turn of the peg could snap the string. Um, the best way to use your pegs, hold your violin on your lap, in your left hand, get hold of, this is my A string, between your thumb and your finger, and loosen the peg first, so that is by turning it towards you, like so. We've gone down. Then you can gradually, very slowly, millimetres at a time, bring the peg up until you're in tune. Due to the nature of the, of the wood, your pegs might slip. So to stop that from happening, as you loosen and tighten the peg, try and push in towards the peg box with your hand. So then the peg will just stay flush in the hole and will not slip. For the more advanced tuning, if you are able to listen out for a perfect fifth, you can play two strings at once. Now if I play my A and D together, if they don't quite sound right, you can hear a beating between the notes. Now we want that to sound really pure, no beating between. So I'm going to nudge my peg downwards, and try again, and slowly sharpen it until I think it's in tune. It may take a couple of goes. Now the other way is by using your adjuster. So I will play my note, while I'm hearing it ring, I will change it with my right hand until I can hear that perfect fifth. 